Well, of course, the most, most romantic day of the year is just a few days away, but the art of romance has a long history both in and out of the bedroom. Ashley Rogers from Canned Ham Vintage in Sarasota is here to show us some very fun items to inspire our romantic sides for Valentine's Good Week. Morning, Great Hello. to see you. I love this. Okay, so before we delve into all the fun things you've brought, Rosemary Indie Market, back in season. Going lots of strong. Going strong. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who aren't aware, give us a little preview about what type of things we're finding at Rosemary Indie Market. One of my most exciting things this week is we have a food trailer and a beverage cart that's in a vintage trailer that's coming. They oh, hand fun. make it's so cute. They hand make everything <coughs> on site. They do bubble tea and uh, Mexican fresca, so that's a nice refreshing twist. So it'll be a really great day out in the sun, hopefully. I think the weather is going to turn out perfect. All and independent markets, right? Yes, all, come all together. local, fair trade, all that kind of stuff. We like to keep it local. And some vintage, some not. So some I like know. the mix that yeah. you know you can find yeah. some artisan type things, very exactly creative right. crafters. We like it all. <laughs> we yeah. like to include everybody. Just we just like to shop. That's yeah, what that's it all too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we are taking kind of a vintage Valentine look back at yeah. some of the trends that have evolved over mm -hmm. the decades, and we think Megan looks absolutely stunning. In Tell us about that piece. Great '70s jacket. Ooh. It's yeah. actually coming back into style. I've seen so many stars <laughs> wearing them. They're easy to wear. Jeans and a T-shirt. An easy date night thing. You can take it from the bedroom mm -hmm. out to dinner. That's yes. kind of what we're doing here. From the bedroom out to dinner. <laughs> yeah. Or from, well, or from the, the dinner out to bedroom, whichever. The dress too. Whatever you oh, yeah. Those pants, but it's interesting to see it with a full dress. You can dress. wear it so many different ways. Yeah. There's so many different colors out there. Yeah, the color's it's, great. It's really a great way to kind of do a throwback 70s thing over yes. to something something that's simple and comfortable. I love it. Don't be afraid of feathers. Yes. Right. <laughs> feather boas. I don't know what's going on with the feather boas this year. Really? I think I've sold six in the last two weeks. Really? Oh. All well, I can tell you what's going on now. <laughs> and all the ladies are saying they're going to wear them to parties. There's so really? many events right now. Oh, That's right. what we do with mostly events, dressing the Wait, women for that. That sounds like now. people are going to you know, take more fun when oh, they're looking at their outfits oh. for galas and events this year. At least year. when they come to us, they're looking for fun. Even That's in cool. daily wear, people are getting more yeah. creative mm -hmm. and uh, more daring. Like and more textures exciting. are very mm -hmm. in yep. right now. We so. have lots yeah. of that going With on. With the feather here. and the lace. All right, so slippers are not just slippers. Oh. These are like no. boudoir shoes. Oh, boudoir shoes, wear them out. Oh, wear them out with something fun. Really? There's Marilyn wearing a pair of them. They're really, they, they can be worn out. They're really wow. beautiful. And yeah. I like the fact that they've got a little heel on a them as pump. well. A little pump. They're actually a, a really comfortable mule. So in, were they originally created to be worn as bedroom shoes? Yes. So your Only heels in the, in the bedroom. bedroom. But they really look cute to be worn out now. I agree. How mm -hmm. nice. No wonder men always sexy. wanted heels in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Super sexy. I just want to be taller, I'll tell you that much. Oh, <laughs> you're <laughs> perfect, Joey. 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 <laughs> no okay, and then bed jackets. Bed jackets, again, girls are wearing them out on the street. Oh, well, that looks like a great cute yep. little top. Cute I mean, little does. top. Wear a little, um, little satin blouse underneath, put this on top, and super sexy and fun. Are these and sleeves oh, or is this a little capelet? It's like a little cape. Oh. Actually, no, this one is sleeves. Well, right. Originally, was That's that insane. for modesty in the bedroom? It, was for, yeah. to, it was for sexiness yep. in the bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You wear your slip and you wear it over top, and it just adds a yeah, little you, bit and, more. And there was something else to take off. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. those are the same thing. Lays. Yeah. <laughs> so my extra large like t-shirts aren't sexy. I, I understand. We can put one this of these on be. top. <laughs> That's yeah. very sexy. So this Again, is a, this is another little little, little bed jacket, robe. but it's like a duster now. All yeah. the girls wear them out like little little vest dusters. What do they yeah. wear underneath? Jeans and a t-shirt. Jeans and a t-shirt. Oh, cool. Or you put it over yeah. top of a, oh, a, a nice dress, black, black dress. dress. Uh -huh. yeah. I On love this. Side, sometimes these even look good uh, with long sleeves when it's just cool yep. enough out. Right. Like a <laughs> fitted long sleeve that just gives it, it a little. It adds more texture to mm -hmm. something simple that you're you're comfortable in jeans and a t-shirt mm -hmm. or a simple little red dress. This adds a little more. And Stephanie, to be clear, not an extra large white All right, husband. not an extra large <laughs> old t-shirt. Cute t-shirt. From college, yeah. I get it. <laughs> the looks are more romantic. It's nice to see Yeah, absolutely. Especially for spring. Gloves and jewelry. Linda's got some really pretty Great jewelry pieces Again, there. with the 70s, a nice deep V, a nice long necklace, lots of chains go around here. This is actually the center. So look at all the chains. Lots of oh, chain wow. work we got going on. Long and sexy. You can also wrap things. Like you can double wrap that, which is really beautiful. My mom had a lot of these in her jewelry box when I was mm -hmm. a kid. <laughs> now tell me about gloves. Are people back to wearing gloves for formal occasions? All the time. All the time. Long metallic is huge right now, especially okay. for gloves. 
because the white can get a little eh, right it's eh. a little dingy it's a little dingy and also it's not as sexy always metallics it amps up your everyday look and that one's cute i love the little short one yeah, especially on you. if you don't have to get a manicure you can <laughs> right? just make gloves that yeah. would be a They're lovely silver there. again with yeah. the again with the dressing up and like making that dress up for the sarasota events fun right well right. And that looks amazing there and then of course scarves and kimonos, kimonos you mentioned now huge. i am seeing these on <laughs> Every Linda's year. rocking the kimono. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Of course, red again. Take it from the bedroom, wear it out. Wear it over something comfortable, a little sundress. Put this over top, and you got something that, you know, it's timeless. Yeah, I saw the young girls at the mall this weekend in jeans, All a little t shirt, and big, gorgeous kimonos. And especially because the florals are back in. The florals, mm -hmm. the one that you're wearing is from the 50s. Okay. The one that she's wearing here is probably about 60s. And the one over the floral, is um, that's going to be 1930s actually? Oh wow, much on older. That's piece. amazing, and a really pretty necklace kind of dresses it up as well. Oh yeah, 70s necklace over top of a uh, 30s kimono, and you, it's actually made as a belt, but tie it up, tie oh, it in a good bow. Idea. All right, well, romance never dies. So no matter the decade, we've got fun vintage items. You can, of course, find all this kind of thing and so much more coming up at the Rosemary Indie Market. It is outside in the gorgeous sunshine in the Rosemary District. It is coming up February 17th. All right, when we come back, we're going to try our hand at some Sun Coast trivia. See how smart we are.